so the accolade was canceled. It's definitely because incels didn't like two people of color holding hands. We're not gonna forget that. They've hit the second tower. Who <laughs> <laughs> frickity who? Of all of the vitriol that we received and the kind of the targeted attack, I would say, we received by the alt-right. What? Then uh, a rampage of vitriol that we have faced s since the show was even announced, when it was still just a concept of no one had a narcissist. It is the most like kind of narcissistic lack of self awareness, and that she's still bitching about. Every time I want to start making a video about this topic, it just gets worse and worse with all this nonsense that is happening within the Star Wars community. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm done with Star Wars. It's funny because I wasn't sure how to start this video off, but <laughs> after recent events, I know exactly how to start it off. And that is, what the blooming hell are we doing, guys? What is this? And I know it's not everyone's fault, but it's it's people who don't know when to take the L or just move on. And case in point, these Acolyte fans do not want to let go of the fact that nobody watched this show. End of story. Bye bye. See you later. And the numbers don't lie. The Acolyte was not in the top 10 for the Nielsen ratings at all. And because of that, Disney pulled the plug and they knew better. And you can't just point the fingers going, it was Star Wars Theory's fault. It was Nerd Erotic's fault. This and that. Disney does not give a rat's ass about YouTubers. An opinion of a YouTuber, even though they have a million or three million subs, it's not enough to influence the majority, which are normies, to not watch the show. Doesn't take an average Joe to see a piece of shit show like The Acolyte. For those who truly like the show, yeah, it sucks that the show got cancelled. I know, you know, we've all been through it, but we were definitely focusing on the vast minority of groups that basically live on Twitter, who apparently they have the moral high ground of being the better person, because I don't know, I guess trying to demonetize a group of YouTubers is morally good? What? I, I just can't believe all this because the acolyte was canceled. They just can't let it go. And what's worse, is that there are other Star Wars YouTubers, not as big as Star Wars Theory, but close enough, that are in the front lines with these petitions to contact Team YouTube to demonetize their channels. And you just make yourselves look like a bunch of gumbies. Even YouTube just went, no, sorry if you don't agree with it. Sorry you can't handle an edgy joke. Man, just fly over here to Australia and be here for maybe a week. You guys are probably going to think we're the worst kinds of people on this planet. I had people coming up to me. Hey, somebody help me get them back in the water. Yeah, look at right there, big fella. Look at you right there. You get... Oh, look, he's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Oh, he's crying. He's crying. I bet it tastes like gravy. It's not bullying if everyone does it. But it's Australia, mate. But even so, if people have thin skin, yeah, we'll be a bit more mindful. But it's the fact that you guys couldn't handle it. You couldn't handle the truth that even though Lucasfilm created the show that was made perfectly for you because the majority of Acolyte fans were never into Star Wars and this was the show that did it. And I kind of did a little test explaining to two friends who are into that kind of, you know, style of storytelling and described what happened, especially with the Oceanmere stuff, they both instantly said, I'd watch it. And it, that's what the kind of show was. It was catering to that shipper audience. And it's a huge minority. While I do enjoy some romance, this was just not it, Chief. It was just downright disgusting in a way and wrong. But that's just my opinion. I go just go to the other site 
if you honestly feel a bit horny. Don't let your kids what's it! <laughs> but objectively, this is not Star Wars. It really isn't. It didn't feel like it. And thank God Keanu Reeves dodged a bullet with this one. I couldn't believe he was almost cast to be Saul when everyone wanted him to be Darth Revan. And then the stupidity of writing. That whole jailbreak scene. That That's the best example I can tell people why I don't like this show. Just full of stupidity and incompetence. Like the most basic logical things you would do when it comes to arresting someone or keeping prisoners in a ship like why would you have an alien that has the ability to hack anything machinery and not have any special restraint to prevent him from doing that but i guess the plot needed to happen because i couldn't think of a way to solve that problem and yet you got a ship full of droids with the one alien that could hack any machines and an alien with a tentacle head that doesn't have any restraints on top of his head to make sure he doesn't do that. Unbelievably dumb. But these are the opinions of someone who's learning to write a story. And it's really disheartening that something like this got greenlit. Why? I don't know. I guess Kathleen Kennedy just likes certain things, which again, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why couldn't we just write a story that was just good. But I guess to these fans, it's the best thing ever made, which I kind of wish I want to tell you, just just watch more stuff, man. Just watch more stuff. There's a lot more better content out there than the Acolyte. And it's so weird seeing these Star Wars YouTubers that obviously had these early access and they get flown to Lucasfilm. They all got pissy about it because it felt like they did all this promoting the Acolyte stuff for nothing. Yord Horde, I mean, who, who honestly gives a crap about Yord Horde? Yord Horde, sorry. But yeah, it seems like Molly Damon just couldn't help herself and supported this petition or a manifesto about how toxic and racist and bigotry the Star Wars fandom has become when they don't realize they're the ones who became the, the toxic ones. Because whenever we criticize the show, you just point at us and call us racist. Look, I'm not a perfect guy, all right? I'm decent enough, but I don't need some punk calling me racist or bigot. I already got enough to deal with at my full-time job. So it's just shallow words for you to just call me that since everyone throws bigot, racist, whatever lightly all over the internet. Kind of hard to take it seriously, you know? And especially when Amanda Stenberg calls everyone the alt-right that gave the show shit. Uh, lady, I'm from Australia, and I'm not gonna lie, I could care less about politics. I only care about living my life, meeting someone, start a family with one day, and also focus on my nerdy stuff, okay? So, I, I, yeah, politics, you know, they can go suck a lemon for I care. But what would I know? I'm just a dumb Blanco Latino man, am I? Even though YouTube declined their requests to demonetize these channels, they just lost their minds. They just went crazy about it. And now they're trying to find other ways to get rid of these guys because again, they just can't handle it. Here's the best advice I can give you. Just click to those three dots next to that video. Don't recommend me this channel. I've done it to Mr. Beast. I don't want to see Mr. Beast videos at all in my feed. Because of that option, I don't see any of his videos at all in my feed. It's not that hard to do. But no, you can't let it go. And it seems you just want a world without free speech because free speech is about anyone talking about anything, whether you think it sounds mean or not. And yeah, there'll be shit talking. It's the, it's the internet. What do you expect? The best way you can do it is make sure you don't bring that attitude or let that behavior in in your own communities as YouTubers. You know, little crowd control because they will be racist and sexist. I'm not saying they don't exist, but the people you're after, they're just guys who like to shit talk stuff. Again, if you live in Australia, some of you will understand where I'm coming from. It's basic shit talk. But from the videos I've seen from these people, it's definitely coming out of jealousy. Like, like they're jealous that these other YouTubers are getting more views than them. The harsh truth is that us human beings get attracted to negativity and drama and 
sometimes hate. Not everyone's like that, but there's a reason why people love to watch the news all the time, whether it's pop culture or politics or whatever. But do you really have to stoop that low and ruin your reputation? Because what? Because other YouTubers make millions of views and so they make more money about you. And after the video Star Wars Theory posted earlier today, now it's a lot more telling. And you, especially you, Molly, you basically showed your true colors. You definitely give redheads a bad name. And we can't leave your husband out, out of this equation too, because again, Theory showed the receipts. <laughs> and it's just unreal. It's, it's crazy to me that the whole, he can't sleep properly because of Theory and he's freaking out. So Molly has to look after him, which is fine, you know? It's nice for a wife to do that, you know, help help a partner out in need but holy cow it's like as if theory was living in his nightmares it just sounds ridiculous look andor didn't get watched like the acolyte did and you don't see me complaining about it but then you're gonna say it, was, it had a second season well you know at least tony gilroy is going to finish it in season two but even so i would react the same way i mean when heroes was cancelled i didn't go on a bloody rampage and whine like a little child i just went well that sucks moving on back and see why it was canceled. Or even Marco Polo, Netflix canceled that. And that show was getting good. And now we're left with such a huge cliffhanger and we'll never know what happened. And also, The Dark Crystal, a fantastic show with a team full of great puppeteers and great voice acting, got canceled. But again, did not whine. It sucked, I know, but shit happens. I know it's kind of mean to separate the Acolyte fans from, from the Star Wars fans, but they just prove our point that they never cared about Star Wars because this was the show for them to get into the franchise and it represents nothing of what makes Star Wars special, in my personal opinion. I mean, you can say whatever you want in the comments, but it's like whatever really, to each their own I guess. I have co-workers that do like the Acolyte and I'm not an asshole about it, I got good for you. And sometimes I'd like to ask why they like about it, sometimes I, I don't agree, and sometimes I can, I can see why they like the Acolyte. But most other co-workers I talked to said that they just couldn't get into it, so they stopped watching. And some that watched all the way through like I did said it was the worst, and there's an ambulance, was the worst Star Wars thing ever made. I mean, I've shown my friends and families about the whole, the power of one, the power of two, the power of many scene. It's so bad that, honestly, I'm embarrassed to be a Star Wars fan after that scene. I'm sorry. But yeah, honestly, I just feel like I'm rambling on because it's just a cycle of just hatred for, in a way, from both sides. But I think these fans that live on Twitter, it's just, you become the very thing you sought to destroy. But I'm glad YouTube decided to do the right thing and actually look through the videos and pretty much confirmed that none of these videos violated the community guidelines. But now these people are making gifts of threatening the CEO of YouTube by having Christian Bale shoot some dude. What's wrong with you guys? Like, do you honestly believe that you're okay? Maybe talk to someone? I, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it helps to talk to someone. Uh, like, I'm not trying to be smart, smart ass or anything. I'm generally just a bit concerned about some of these people. I go, why? Why are you behaving like that? But yeah, I think I expressed my frustration in this whole situation long enough. Long in short terms, you know, keep on crying, you know, your scheme failed. To those Star Wars YouTubers that supported this action, uh, you should be ashamed, but hopefully you learned a lesson, but I doubt you didn't, so you're gonna keep on pursuing this. So go ahead, let your insecurities get the best of you. But yeah, I'm just done with Star Wars. I'm not watching any more of the future content, with the exception of Andor Season 2, because at least that will be concluded. But after that, I only care about the Star Wars video games. But yeah, I say that, but Star Wars Outlaws is pretty mid at best. Best. So I'm more looking forward to the third Jedi game with Cal Kestis because he is the best character that Disney Star Wars has. And I guess Andor is too, since we got a whole show, fleshed him out as a character. But hey, those are the opinions of Gumby.